Hi everyone, my name is Esteban from Addicted to PPC and I'm here today with another video to share great information on how you can increase your online visibility through images, Google My Business and ultimately automating a lot of the hard work um, so you can spend time on growing your business. Um, here is a tool that I've been using for quite some time now. It's called Publer. Um, it's a free um, social media platform uh, content sharing uh, system um, for up to five accounts, depending on how big your company is. And in, in a nutshell, what it does is allows you to um, post all of your content um, across multiple channels at the same time. So rather than you having to individually do it on LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, Google My Business, Instagram, all the other various channels, um, you can just basically publicize it into one platform here and it can then um, spread it and automatically post it um, either instantly or you can schedule it for any time in advance, whether you're doing weekly, daily or monthly posts. So it's a very powerful tool, saves me a lot of time. I love tools that can be automated and save time. Um, especially those that are free like Publer. So let me just show you, give an example of how this actually works in motion. Uh, I've got a spreadsheet, a content calendar that I'm just a snapshot of, of how I use it. I find this makes it even even quicker to use um, and I can copy and paste it and, and then spend time doing other other things like these videos. Um, here's one that I've already posted. Um, you just need a few elements for this spreadsheet to be um, operational. In this instance, I've got um, the blog article title, uh, the URL that where it lives, I've got a spacer, uh, the call to action and an emoji, just because it stands out and it helps get more um, engagement. Then you want to have your NAP, your name, address and phone number, um, a UTM code so you can see in your Google Analytics where has the traffic come from and you can monitor the performance. And then this is a combination of all of those elements together um, where you can simply copy and paste this uh, into Publer and then publish it. So um, and then lastly, I just have one for status just so I know um, because I'm going to build, build this out, out a big list. Um, so I don't have to keep doing it every day. I can do it. I can do 90 days in one hit and then move on to something else. Um, so let's go through and do um, the first one so you can see how it actually works. Um, so here's our, our blog, our PPC blog, and this is where we want to um, share and, and automate our content um, into Publer. So first of all, I'll just copy the title. Um, it's as simple as that. Paste it into here as it needs to be. And then I just need the URL. Uh, so I can again just copy the link address and then just paste it into the URL. Um, as you can see in this column here, it's automatically added it in the title and the URL. Um, and I can copy and paste it to go. So let's just do one more so you can see how that works again. Copy your blog title. Again, you might need to do it on the page itself, depending on how your website's built. Um, mine's very responsive, so I can do it straight off the bat here. Uh, again, copy it here and again, paste there. So you'll see that's now added in there. So now what I'll do in this instance, copy just this cell, I can go with the Publer, click it into create post, paste it in, and there you can see it's already working to find the image source. There you go, it's already poured the image in, so I haven't had to do that manually and save time, dragging and dropping and saving it onto my desktop. It's already there. It's already added in the extension action, so you can either have no buttons if you want, you know, book, um, online buy and so forth. I want people to learn more because I want them to have a button where they can then click through to the blog article. You can see the URL is automatically being pulled through with that UTM, which is great. So I can monitor it in my Google Analytics. Uh, I also have a preview so I can see how that's going to look when it goes live. Here we go. We can see how to master your uh, Google My Business account, uh, your blog article, and, and so forth. You can expand that just so you can see the full um, the full post. This is obviously in the mobile view, and you can quite simply toggle that to your desktop view. Um, so I'm very happy with that, and I will schedule that to go. Uh, uh, this is another thing you can do in Publer, you can schedule when do you want your uh, post to go out. Um, so click schedule. It's going to do a little ticker thing and then this will disappear once it's done and there you go it's now successfully scheduled so the benefit of this is you can this is another one that you saw on the spreadsheet this is my google my business um, tab now 
and you can see it's already been posted uh, and now this is already live and I don't need to worry about that. So I can go through the spreadsheet, complete all of those and every single day it'll, it'll start publishing these, um, it'll start, yeah, publishing these um, posts. Uh, I don't need to worry about that. What's also really good is um, through uploading images on a regular basis and uploading your social content. Um, it really helps in your, your Google rankings. It helps uh, with signals coming from images. So image SEO is another area that you need to um, be conscious of and focus on um, because the more you do this, the more articles you have or the more content you're producing, it will help um, with the listings because Google is able to start reading the images that you, you've got. It's able to read the context um, and other elements inside here. So here, this is where you can see from Google directly under um, our site, our site code on addictedpbc.com. It's showing all of the images that we've loaded. Um, they're mainly going to be blogs, but again, you can also say get the other elements inside there. And you know, it's not just the case of ticking a box and seeing this, which is great. Um, Google's very smart now with its AI and the AI is getting more powerful um, day by day. So this is another great platform you can use called Google Cloud. Um, you want access to the AI and machine learning platform of it. Upload any image you want. And what Google would do is it would actually read it and, um, and show you what, what the AI is extracting uh, for the image. And, and these are going to be elements that rank um, or affect its rankings and that's going to you know, pile up to your website. So um, even though there's no, these words, these entities aren't in the image, it's great to see that Google is recognizing this image, the content to do with digital marketing. Uh, marketing as well, uh, which is great, customer experience, business, marketing strategies, and all of the other elements that we want our website and our business to be related to um, and optimized towards. So um, you can also say, see what is Google interpreting the text that is on the page. So we've got things like more because it's, it's trying to get do more, but it couldn't because of some elements. Um, it's got the, the title, as you expect. Um, now, this is quite interesting. This one here, we've actually did it, done a test. We've just um, you know, put our, our, one of our SEO terms in here in terms of digital marketing agency Brighton. You can't actually see it on, on the image, but Google has been able to pick that up because of how we've um, edited our website for that. Uh, and then we then got addicted to PPC, our brand down below. So um, just to give you a snapshot of where this image is, again, this is on our, on our blog page. Um, I think at the moment it's uh, this one down here. Um, and you can't really see that word that Google picked up, the digital marketing agency Brighton. Um, it's not visually apparent in the image itself, but we've been able to, um, to test and play around with it. And Google is now seeing that in here. So that's a great way as well. Um, so, you know, these are great ways to, to further amplify your brand, to further get more visibility um, to your customers, uh, to help with rankings. And, you know, it's not just a case of just doing these, you know, uploading to images and to Google My Business. Um, you really, you know, after you put, spent the time building your articles, you want to make sure you share it on as many, many entities as possible um, on social platforms where your, your audience um, might be. So. In this instance, we've also uploaded them here into our Facebook page um, just to, because other people spend time on Facebook. If you have um, a LinkedIn page, again, you want to share it on that space uh, and so too on, on Twitter and, and all of the others. So um, you want to go through this process. You, again, you want to really uh, have a spreadsheet so you know you know when, when and when, uh, when and where your articles are getting publicized, um, schedule the whole thing. Um, it's going to save you a heck of a lot of time and a lot of, a lot of uh, patience. Um, and you'll see that it will help build out your brand. It will build out your um, your rankings and um, it will, again, help bring more people to your blog, get more people to engage in your content that you spent a lot of time in and um, and help make things a lot easier. So that's it for today. If you have any questions on the platforms or, or the process that I've used, um, feel free to leave a comment down in below. I'll also add a link to Publa in the description. Uh, feel free to reach out on, on Twitter, LinkedIn, um, Facebook, or you know email me directly or even on, on YouTube. Um, have a great day and I'll catch you in the next video.